Yeah, good morning. You know, I've been looking for a song in my head to lighten up this moment. Mm, but let me ask my guests. Today I'm not even saying much. You know, it's the drip and flex, you know, segment. And Wendy is always so calm and collected. The loudest she speaks in the, is in the style. If you see her color right now, her makeup, her shoes, now that's where she's loud. But let's find out if she's gonna pull a breakfast surprise for me for the Happy New Year. Of course, representing the Wendy.j styles this morning. If she pulls a song that speaks style, maybe we can start from there. Goodness, okay, you put me on the spot. <laughs> it's breakfast. Uh, well, the song I've been feeling, I know it's a bit of an oldie, but I like Necessary by Kiss Daniel. I feel like it has a perfect beat. You know? Alright, the beat? <laughs> yeah. So can you pull the lyrics? Girl, no. No? Not, not a singer. So, oh, not a singer. <laughs> you are a stylist. Yes. So we're gonna find out where, what you're good at and what you're more powerful at this morning. Start asking your questions. If you want to know where she's getting her outfit from, because I'm about to ask that question. <laughs> Start asking. We're live on Facebook. Remember to go on Instagram, Wendy.jstyles. And also with us is a model. Yes. I, I'm right. She's a model. Yes, she is a model. She's our model for today. Mm -hmm. And her name is Jocelyn Milwaukee. Amazing. So, hey, guys. You want to see how she's going to pimp this look. And today it's all about the official look, the whack look. So, girls, you want to look sassy and still classy and presentable and decent at work? Learn a few tips this morning. So, Wendy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Everything about officers and, and that look and maintaining it through the week can get really difficult. Yeah. Let's hear your opening remarks about looking official mm. and keeping it classy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for today, what we're basically going to learn is some of the add-ons you can um, make on your outfits for going to work that kind of give it that little pop that you need so that you get to stand out at work, but also still be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can stand out, still be comfortable, but don't pop out to the point where we're thinking, ah, instead of working, we're wondering what style it is. Yeah. So what are the, you know, the main things that make this work? Okay, so probably I could demonstrate on our model for today. Oh, before we demonstrate, uh -huh. um, it could be a belt. Yes. So the accessories we've chosen for today are um, bags, a couple of heels, a belt, and a couple of coats as well. So a blazer mm. and an overcoat that's sleeveless. So those are going to be our accessories for the day. <laughs> Amazing. So why don't you just go straight into it? Because what time is it? 20 minutes past 9. I'm sure there's somebody who gets to work for the afternoon shift. So they're going to grab a tip or two yeah. right here. Ask your questions. Let us know what you have been battling with because women battle with a lot. <laughs> you tried it. It worked. Also let us know what your first hack was as we begin. So Wendy, show mm -hmm. us. I mean, shock us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, so um, we are going to start with this belt. So the reason we choose this belt is that it's a statement and it's thick enough to cover this space. Uh -huh. So you can pick something like this that will go over uh, this part right here, or you can get a belt that goes right through the loops. So for this, we take it right across her torso, and we tie it in. Mm -hmm. Oh, Oof. she's going to help me. Tie the front. Can I just touch it for you? Is it tight enough? So you can tighten it as much as you want to, or you can leave it as loose as you want to. Whatever feels comfortable for you. It's actually already transformed though. Yeah. So the great thing about this is that it cuts the look in two proportions, right? Making you look Beautiful. taller as well. Oh yeah, I noticed. Right. And um, something to note also. Uh, when you're picking up the outfit for the office, if you do want to stand out, um, picking bright colors really helps. And that's what we have right here. With this powder blue pant, um, it goes three quarter away, so it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, which is perfect for showing off your heels. And these are really good heels for today, right? I love the black wet look. I love that it's printed. And at the back, I don't know if you guys yeah, can see. Yeah, if you turn around, we can see that. Oh, they have like an amazing. added gold detail at the back, right? Details. Yes. Details every day, right? <laughs> <laughs> so to like tie this whole look together, we have a sleeveless overcoat. Ooh, that look is coming through you all. Right. Yeah, and so this Absolutely. could be your first Gorgeous. look. 
So we all know that we have to carry stuff to the office, whether it be our makeup or we want to carry a laptop or something of the sort. Essentials. So the bag that you choose is going to be <laughs> very essential, right? So for today, we choose this box bag. Beautiful. What's with the detail? Um, there's, um, there's a ribbon? Or yes. I don't know what to call it on it. So there are a couple of details here, right? Um, from the shape of the bag to the design at the front to this little scarf over here. So it's just a pop of color that really mm. takes it up a notch so that it isn't just a plain black bag, right? And I think this pairs really well with this look. So when you talk about the pop of color right there on that bag, it's not necessarily bought with it. Mm -hmm. It's a creativity to it. You can put whatever color of ribbon you want to just make that bag look in whichever way you want it to with your outfit. Exactly. Amazing. Do you want to turn around? Maybe you can see the back of the coat. Sure. So it's a sleeveless casual official coat or is that an official coat? So it could <laughs> be official. It all depends on how we like view what is casual or what is formal or what is semi-formal to all us. Right. So for this, it could probably be placed best as a semi-formal look for the office. Beautiful. Let us know your comments uh, right here on Facebook. What do you think of this look, this first look? Wendy, which is the best day suited to wear this? Because people say this is the way you look on Monday, really, <laughs> how you look on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. Which day suits this? I really don't know. So for me particularly, I would say like the weekend on Friday. I feel ah. like that's when we have the most leeway to go ahead and not have to wear things that are dark and long or you know stuff like that so because it's sleeveless and it's a bit more casual with the bodysuit and the coloring of everything i'd say friday is a pretty good day to go with this look and i'm not i'm not advocating for coffee after work <laughs> but this would suit you if, if you want to pass by um, one of these you know good cafeterias yes all right amazing so this is our first look yeah all right, why did we do this um, black? Why you said it's you don't have to do many shouting colors. Yes. I don't know how to call it when you're going to work. So basically, um, the whole idea behind it is to go monochromatic with the look, which is basically when you take one base color and probably mm. just break it with one more color. So what we've done here, we've basically done it with most of the accessories being black, right? From the shoes to the bag to the coat. And then we try and break it with lighter, brighter colors, being white and powder blue. This is beautiful. So I know one last thing I would ask you, mm -hmm. though, is uh, holding your hair right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, holding your hair right yeah. is a problem women have, even to this morning. Mm -hmm. um, is there a hairstyle you don't want to pull this outfit with? So I think a What if their hair is braided? Should they hold it up? It's if okay. your hair is braided, um, when it comes to doing your hair, it really depends on what you really want to highlight. So let's say you have statement earrings on, you would need to hold your hair up. So if it's braids or something else, you'll have to hold a bun up, right? Or alternatively, you could hold your hair back mm -hmm. into like a, Amazing. You know, a low ponytail with like a hair tie, simple hair band, and there you go. Do you know I would tell you one thing for sure? When you held it back, we saw some transformation as well. Yeah. And she looks beautiful. Thank you. I want to take a short break. We're mm -hmm. still in the drip and flex. And we want you to have something drip and flex about. At the end of this week, you'll be repeating this episode over and over just to pick these tips from Wendy.j styles. And remember, Wendy Wairimu is here representing. We come back with the second outfit. And I can tell you, boy, oh boy, am I not waiting for that? Really excited you're watching The Morning Drift hashtag on Twitter. And we come back with the next outfit on how to pull that official look and still remain gorgeous after the break. morning a beautiful breakfast it is the third week of january we're still in the new year so if you're just waking up happy new year <laughs> and good morning and if you've been struggling with fashion design style and this year you just don't want to be the same again thank you for tuning in to the drip and flex because your year is about to transform get that wardrobe right get those colors right and you know where to get them wendy.j styles 
out on Instagram, start picking what you're seeing. And even right here on set, we have a live illustration on how to pull that official look Monday to Friday and keep it, you know, subtle, classy, and still stand out. So welcome back, Wendy, and of course, our beautiful model. You, <laughs> are there people who just look good in clothes? Kunalo <laughs> wanna shop and then they're just told, go and go zote nizako. And yeah, those who say, and yeah, I always have issues getting a cloth. What, what, what is the play here? Is it the body type? Okay, so what I would say is you really need to know what your body type is and especially your sizing. Mm. I think most women don't know <laughs> their size to begin with. So it makes things even harder when they're going out to shop. Because the first thing the attendant will ask you is, what size are you? So if you're not sure about that, that's already a problem, you know. Okay. And also, when it comes to body types, um, do, do a little bit of research and find out um, what kind of clothes fit best for your body type, right? Take your complexion into consideration when picking out colors. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that will really help you out when you're going shopping. Yeah, so start researching on your body type. What body types do we have? We have What's her body type? So she has a very petite body type right so that means that well let's let's be honest the fashion world really favors petite girls so that okay. means she would have like a very large range to choose from when it comes to selecting wardrobe pieces yes even shoes yes and i'll speak for nairobi okay <laughs> for all of us who don't drive mm -hmm. and they get a chance or drive and park and get a chance to walk and of course support the hawkers mm -hmm. All the shoes down there, Miambili, Miambili, for those who don't understand Swahili, but I know Nairobians, good morning. Yeah. 200, 150, in Indago. <laughs> it's always the petite people who get it. But besides that, let's now talk about what we have mm -hmm. right here. We did a first look in a nice, you know, sleeveless black coat, and we achieved it for a Friday. Yeah. What is next? What have you prepared for us now for the second look? So for the second look, this is for the ladies who love color and they want to incorporate it into their office looks, right? Okay. So uh, I had already touched on the powder blue and I think it's a really nice and subtle way to do color in the office, right? So to add on to that, we could add this oh, that's, um, is that baby laser. Pink? Yeah, this that is pink? baby pink. It's okay. baby pink, it's powder pink. It's how you... <laughs> Which school you went to? Like, uh, maybe, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's actually already coming through. Yeah. But the white is really playing some role there. Mm -hmm. The white um, blouse. Yes. It's also playing some, some role there. What, yeah. what, is, what, what is the trick with the white? So the trick with the white is just establishing a base color, right? Oh, okay. Um, black white neutrals are really good base colors. So if you're shopping for <coughs> your bodysuits, your blouses, your, you know, anything that you can wear from here to here on your torso, go for the basic colors because they will help you a lot in transitioning your looks. Because you can use this for this look and casual looks and, you know, you can really incorporate it in a lot of looks in your closet. I also so far noticed that we have maintained the belt. Yes. Okay. Yes, we have. So um, the thing about the belt is I really love it and it's a really big statement. So this is only for, you know, the girls who like to stand out. They don't mind adding on to what they already have. Uh, but if you aren't that kind of girl, you can always go for like a more subtle belt, you know, depending on also the size of the loop. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys um, like a slimmer belt for um, trousers that have smaller loops on it. Okay. So um, to accessorize this look, um, you can always maintain the black heel or you can always shift to an open heel depending on what you like, right? Oh, amazing. So maybe you can show us this. Yes. So to begin with, we have this open heel. Now, the reason I picked this heel is uh, because the look is very bright, you might have to mm. tone it down, right? And you might want to go with something that goes with your belt but isn't matchy-matchy. Right? So this shoe comes in handy. <laughs> I love this shoe because it's gonna be very comfortable. I like the thick band right here. It's gonna give you a lot of stability. And also this, the strap. The strap really helps you out so that when you're walking, you don't feel like you're leaving your shoe behind. Right? Oh yeah. <laughs> so you have to be comfortable mm -hmm. and you have to be stable. Yes. Okay, so you need to look at those aspects when you're buying a shoe. Definitely. All right. And the heel is very important. The amount of mm. base, um, depending on how much, like uh, if you're not used to wearing heels, 
the bigger the bees, the better, guys. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so um, if you really struggle, go for the chunky heel, right? But if you don't struggle as much, something like this would be pretty cool for you because I like the unique. Yes, I was gonna ask about. Right so so heels also have mm -hmm. a unique statement. Yes. On them. Uh huh. Beautiful. So just like bags or any other, you know piece that we might have in our closet shoes can be can help you stand out right it's all about picking the right color the right fit for you and also putting into consideration probably the inches because when you're at work you probably are going to walk around a lot so a six inch heel might not be ideal but something between two to four inches could be very manageable for a second there, I thought I would check my heel. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the entire look now? Is this it? Um, so one more thing, like one more add-on. Um, this is color. This is a lot of yeah. color. But this is for definitely the person who isn't shy about, you know, coloring. <laughs> so um, to add on to this bag-wise, uh, we have this. It's a nude. It's a nude little touch pass. So this is for the lady who doesn't have to carry a million things to the office. She just knows exactly what she needs and she can fit it right here and keep it moving, right? The phone. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, maybe, you know, a few makeup things here and there. So for this, um, what I really like about it is you have the option of a strap, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. Let me put this that's here. that's beautiful we oh okay and a matching belt this is a matching belt which is something you should look out for when you're buying um your bags so some uh bags will come with additional wallets right some of them come with belts such as this so it's a really cool way to get value for your money when you're buying a bag so for this that's actually it that's yeah. actually gonna change it Right, I love the gold handle. Right, that's a little bit more bling. Maybe if with the with the gold. Um, mm -hmm. um, what do you call that again? The heel. The heel. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna be a bit complementary, right? You're trying <coughs> to like make sure everything flows and goes together. So the great thing about this is, you can wear it as a crossbody bag. This is absolutely gorgeous. Right. So you wear it as a crossbody bag like this, and you don't have to be stressed out about holding things in your hand when you're moving around. It's really simple and easy, and yeah, it adds, it like ties in everything together. <laughs> Wendy, I like that you actually po uh, positioned that bag that way, because a lot of girls wonder how exactly to carry this kind of bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe you want to talk more about how exactly, because mm -hmm. I think how you wear this bag can also alter, yeah. um, you know, the look. Is, is, it, is it a big deal? Uh, it is a big deal, okay. right? <laughs> so for cross body bags, you do want to make sure that it goes right across your torso and lands right here. Um, some people do, uh, when they're doing casual looks, would shorten the strap, right? And mm -hmm. wear it right across their chest like this, when they're wearing like athleisure wear and stuff like that. So it's really versatile and there it's how you want to wear it. There's the bag you put right here. What do you call that? Um, the one you... The funny for bags. us, we're not fashionistas. <laughs> what do you even call it? Or the belt bags. Yes. Oh, you can wear the belt bags. So basically, it would look like this, and it's the bag portion of it comes right here. Can you use it in an official look? Um, for an official look, no, probably not. <laughs> um, I would encourage you to go f more casual if you want to wear it like that. Okay. Some really, really serious word there when it comes to the the belt bag mm -hmm. um we want to see this whole look with this okay you know, with the bag perhaps sure yes. so um i'll have my model take or this if off. it doesn't work with this look would also love to know actually i think it does why because of this so this is where the scarf okay. portion on the bag comes in handy right so we can see the pink because the pink in the blazer so it doesn't look off Amazing. right and it kind of goes with all the other color schemes that we've chosen for the day so the black white pink all of it is taken care of with this bag there is no way this would stand out if the makeup wasn't right that's true please just talk on that because <laughs> <laughs> if i put on this pink <coughs> and my eyeshadow mm -hmm. how and when can your makeup destroy the so much hard work and effort you've put in watching Wendy or j styles and then suddenly you know, things come crumbling down when you want to <laughs> put on your makeup. So uh, what I would say is this. If you know you want pops of color like this for your look, go a bit more neutral with the makeup. 
uh, the way Jocelyn has, right? It'll give you a bit more freedom in color selection when it comes to the rest of your wardrobe. But if you're doing like an all black, all white, all nude look, it's okay to go a bit more vibrant with your makeup. So that's the mm -hmm. tip I would give. <laughs> okay. All right, so Wendy, maybe you want to take a seat again. Thank you. Um, unless you want to add something. I want to ask, uh, oh, she cannot speak because she, she's not mic'd, but <laughs> would love to, you know, just um, find out, you know, just nod or smile. How do you feel comfortable? Absolutely. I, I feel good. <laughs> Amazing. So how about we give you one last look? Maybe you could turn around. We can get details of her shoes. Right from the camera crew, you know, pose at it, look at the level of the trousers, the pants, and there's something you said about the level of those pants. Mm -hmm. What happens if they're longer? So, um, again, it's always preference. So, if you have a longer <coughs> trouser, the, the heel that you have, just be prepared for it to only show like the very front. So, if you want to show off your entire heel, shorter pants are better. But if you don't mind and you, you just want like a sliver of the heel being shown, you can go longer. Amazing. So people just need to know that it is what you want to show, it what, mm. it's what detail you want to flex. Yes. Actually the word is what you want to flex <laughs> with that particular <laughs> outfit. And these things we have shown these people, are they available at Winnie.j Styles? Mm -hmm. Are they affordable is always the biggest question. So as usual, I never bring anything that's a little like over your budget, right? So all the pieces that you've seen here are from High Style and High Style Accessories. You can find them on Instagram. And everything is very well priced. Like there is, everything here is under 4,000. I promise you that. The range will be 1,000 to 4,000 for every single piece. So you can actually look good the rest of the year, every single day of the week. Ladies, uh, someone's challenging me here and asking, when do we get a man on set? Um, <laughs> soon. Soon. So if there are any models out there, you better reach out to me. <laughs> All right, start reaching out, everyone, and I hope you've loved, loved the show. We want you to not only be educated, informed, entertained, we also want you to flex the right drip. How, how was that? That was really good. That was really good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, guys, we want to end the show. Um, like you heard, keep following Wendy or J Stars, and of course, Look Up TV appreciates you. You dress the amazing, you know, anchors and hosts within. So, yeah, it's a good thing. I always say it. So, if you want to bring your, you know, your your wardrobe, if you're a stylist, here's your platform where you actually show people how to drip and flex. Wendy, I'm going to allow you this moment, this honor, because it's a new year, to actually sign out the show for me. Um, if it's so difficult you can just sign out the segment for me and then I can sign out the show right there that's your camera shine girl hi hi everyone so thank you so much for watching the drip and flex show I can't wait to see you guys again soon <laughs> with a male model <laughs> with a male model that's yeah. a promise so guys look out for a male model very soon and I told you she's louder in the outfit than in talking but enjoy the rest of your viewing keep it look up TV and for sure you know, keep yourself informed, share the information, share the link, follow us on LookUp TV across all social media platforms, and email us your feedback and your comments. Also, don't forget, I am Anki Doris Mbat on Facebook, at Doris Anki on Twitter, and Anki Doris on Instagram. Until then, enjoy LookUp TV. I hope for tomorrow. Good morning.